All right, here we go. Wait for a while. Okay. Now this is our window. There we have yeah, several messages. Here the window. As you can see, in this bar, we have cases. If we want to create the cases, later on, I will talk about this one. Geometry objects. So everything, the main data, the static data will be created here and will be also shown here. As you can see, wells, markers, well attributes, logs, horizons. And what we will do is mainly here in 3D grids, three dimensional grids, still empty. Okay, later on we will save or we will have our data here in this section, three dimensional grids. Well, structure tables, still empty, everything is still empty. And here we will have our, our fluid properties, the PVT and also the rock compressibility, still empty, all right? Initial, PVT, relative permeability, all of these things are important, okay? So you learn reservoir simulation, you learn reservoir engineering, you know relative permeability, will be used here. The PVT, and this is for the equilibration, the initial condition before the production, and here the rock compressibility. Wells data, okay, the perforation will be here, okay, the, the perforation history, the production history will be stored in this section. And if you want to do data analysis, later on we can do later, I mean data analysis and the graphs to plot the production, the history matching results can be plotted in graphs. All right, go back to geometry objects. We can have 2D map, two dimensional map, three dimensional model, the seismic, cross section, well stable, to show the trajectory of each well. Well section, okay, to show several information about the well. Histogram, VPC, cross plot, geosteering, table. But most of the time we will only use 2D map or 3D model. And also this is very important, the settings. We can do management of each feature, each item can be managed here in settings, like grid settings, the setting for wells and others. Yeah, I will, you will understand better if we have our data shown in the window. And also several tools like this one, if you want to create cross section, okay, ruler to to know the distance between one point with another point, for example, between two wells, we can measure the distance using ruler. This one, statistics and information. If you want to do, or if you want to know the statistics, the average, the, the minimum, the maximum, edit curves, rotation point, show brush configuration to brush, Later on, hopefully we can cover several of these items. Okay, and above we have document, view, files, queue, project manager, and print. Let's open the document. We can also check the settings. Okay. And then the templates. All right. So now, we will import the data. Here we have two options, import data from rescue file. So we will use the rescue file, rescue file created uh, for, for example, from Petrel, static model from Petrel. We use that model and yeah, 
we modify something or we insert the fluid data, the dy dynamic data into that model. Okay, we will use this one rescue file, but we can also do importing from existing model. So for example, if we have created simulation for casting and others, and we have the file, we can use that file, we can open that file and we can do modifications in that model here. So we can either have this one existing model or rescue. If we use rescue file, it means that it's like we start from zero, okay? We give data, let's say from zero, but existing model, it means from the name itself, existing, it means the model is already there. It's already exist, okay? With all the data that is important. But for our learning, it is better for us to start here import data from rescue file. Okay, that's what I will do. Import data from rescue file. Okay, and I will get my rescue file. Here, this is the type of the file, dot bin, dot bin, cas underscore rescue, from Petrel usually, open. And yeah, we need to make sure the units, x, y coordinate in units, x, y units, I mean, in metric, okay, metric unit. And for the length measure, also metric. Okay, this is the name grid or main grid. This is the rescue file name. This is the grid coordinates everything in metric unit, okay, or in meter, for example. And here we have grid and properties, load grid and properties. Yes, we will load the grid and properties from the rescue file. And from the rescue file, we have these items or these parameters, FBID, all right, it's just an identification Perm X, permeability in X direction. So we have that grid from rescue. Poro, it's actually porosity. NTG is net to gross. Okay. We have three static parameters perm X, porosity, and net to gross. And this is the, the quantity and the system. And also well bores. So here, is the list of the available well in the rescue model. So, and this is the name. So we have 33 wells, okay? We will load the well bores, append to existing and at point with zero MD. Okay, we will leave it as per default, okay? And horizons, we have two horizons, the bottom and the top. Okay, so click OK and we will wait. All right, so this is our model.